As part of a placemaking revitalization project with the state, the Burlington Economic Development Office has been working with businesses and property owners to develop these parking spaces into Burlington's first ever pocket park and holding a series of beer gardens to bring fresh interest to businesses in the Burlington Town Center. Overall, we'd say it was quite a success. I think we had a series of four beer gardens throughout September. By our estimates, we had about 300 people at each event. We had six to ten businesses participate in different ways. Some set up tables, some provided food, and the intention was really to increase awareness of the businesses in the town center and bring foot traffic, bring kind of fresh energy here to the town center. And we feel like we accomplished that with this because I think what happens in a community, you, you go to your same places or you know you drive to a certain area and you don't kind of visit it. This really was intended to bring people out of their car, out to walk through the town center, but we really wanted to focus on the businesses down here because they tend to be independent. Some of them are immigrant owned and they're really kind of that entrepreneurial spirit that we see here in Burlington and it's exciting to kind of support that. So by bringing people in, that may not have come or maybe not come on a Thursday really kind of helped kind of bring new energy to the town center and for the businesses that were able to set up a table or sell food it really did you know anecdotally we haven't brought in any hard data yet but anecdotally from the business owners really increased you know the awareness so a couple people said like I never knew that you know you sold coffee here and that was just a great place this is Tapala at True North and so she gave out some free coffee cards She's since had seen, I've talked to her, she's since seen those people back in her store. Halal Eats was another, they're relatively new here in the town center, and they provided, you know, homemade falafel, and they increased their business. They said a lot of people didn't know about them, so they were happy about that. So we have an informal group made of property owners and a couple of the businesses, and we have to still kind of debrief like what worked, what didn't. Technically was a pilot program. So overall, we feel like it really kind of had the intention, like the goal to increase awareness, but also I think there was a serendipitous kind of benefit that people, we had a social cohesion, you know, opportunity. I think we saw, you know, neighbors connecting a little bit more. We saw people who kind of are working in the area from dentist office to lawyer's office as well as town staff come down socialize and that has you know this kind of intangible benefit that I think you know lends itself to you know a sense of place in a building of community from the Burlington Town Center I'm B News reporter Tad Stefanak